Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to disable advertising in Windows 10. So, this is something that's certainly more unique to Windows 10 than any of its predecessors. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully clear up some of the ads you might be running into on your Windows computer if you don't have a need for them. So, the first thing I would suggest would be to open up the Start menu, just I'll click on the Start button one time. Type in File Explorer. Best match should come back with File Explorer here. I'm going to left click on that one time. And now you want to left click on the View tab up at the top. And then go over and left click on Options over on the far right. And then left click on Change Folder and Search Options. Left click on the View tab. And then you want to scroll down to where it says Show Sync Provider Notifications. You want to uncheck that and then left click on apply and OK. Once you're done with that, now we're going to try and take care of the ads in the start menu. So we're going to open up the start menu, type in settings, or again you could uh, just left click on the little gear icon left side, whichever you prefer. And you want to go ahead and left click on the personalization tile. And now that we are on here, you want to go left click on start on the left side. And now direct your attention over to the right pane. Now you want to go to where it says show suggestions occasionally in start. Toggle that to the off position. And that should hopefully be about it on that side. And now if we actually went back using the arrow key and now we select the system. Left click on notifications and actions. And now you want to scroll down until you get to the section that says get tips, tricks, and suggestions as you use Windows. Toggle that to the off position. And also where it says show me the Windows welcome experience after updates and occasionally when I sign in to highlight what's new and suggested. Toggle that to the off position as well. And honestly that should be about it. So I'm going to close out of here and that should be good. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.